a very good morning my dear students how are you children i hope you all are fit and fine at your place myself ritu chandrol your english teacher i welcome you all to this online session of teaching children today we are going to start a new chapter that is lesson number 6 is am r that is from your english grammar textbook children as i told today we are going to start a new chapter that is lesson number 6 am is r so before starting the chapter my dear children let's have a quick revision what we have learned in the previous online classes my dear children i had explain you about noun singular noun plural noun then what is noun my dear children what is noun can you tell me yes a noun is a word used as the name of a person place or thing next one we had already learnt about singular noun what is singular noun my dear children a noun that names one person one animal one place or one thing is called a singular noun such as a noun that names one person animal place or thing is called a singular noun as you can see some example one person one animal one place one thing next one plural noun what is plural noun my dear children plural noun names more than one person place or thing as you can see the example shoes pencils bees flowers cows so let's see the another one as we had already studied about pronoun what is pronoun a word that is used to replace a noun so example you can see my dear children mercy went to the market and she bought bread so today we will start a new chapter that is lesson number 6 am is r am is r so let's continue my dear children as you can see they are the helping verbs is am r you can see my dear student that is is used with singular noun r is used with plural noun am is used with first person subject i so here you can see my dear children is is used name of any one person and are is used name of more than one person and am is used with first person subject i let's learn more about it am is only used with i what i said children am is only used with i as you can say am is used with first person subject i so let's see my dear children as you can see this i 
am i am so i am is i is ourself am is himself or herself i refers to ourself am refer to himself himself or herself children look at this one am the use of am am is used with the pronoun i what i told am is used with the pronoun i or you can say that am is used with the first person subject i let's see some example here i is given so what we will write i am what we will write children i am let's see some more example for example i am happy so here letter i is written so what we will write children a m am next you can see i am in the park so here also letter i is written so what we will write children a m am next one i am walking so here also the same thing letter i is written so what we will write a m am from this my dear student you can understood this thing that am is used with the pronoun i we observe that am is used with the pronoun i let's see the next one is the use of is 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 used with he what i told he she what i told she it what i told it it means that is is used with the third person singular that is he she it as you can see here my dear children that it is written is 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 used with the pronouns what are they she he it as you can see the example she she is a girl here he is written and he is a boy here it is written it is a dog it is a ball so my dear children let's see some more examples that is is used with the pronoun that refer to one person one animal one place or one thing such as he she it he can be or she can be name of the person 
it can be replaced by object name. Children, here also can you can see is is used with the pronoun that is she he and it let's see some more example my dear student as you can see here lisa who is lisa here she so lisa is a girl so what we call what we write she what we write children she so she is a student because lisa is a girl so because of that here you can see my dear children she is written so what we will write if she is there i s is she is at school lisa is a student she is at school let's see the next example here who is tom tom is a boy g he let's see example tom is a student too here also you can see tom is is a boy so because of that what we'll write children is tom is a student too let's see the next one what is written here it 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 is a wonderful day because it is written here so what we will write is is let's see some more example the use of is as i told you that is is used with the pronoun that is he she and it so say that is is used with the pronoun that refer to one person one animal one place or one thing such as he she it so let's see the example by seeing this one only okay what is the first example is given here he what is it written here he so what we will write children i s is he is a good boy let's see the next example what is written here she here also she is written here also she is she is written so what we will write she is wearing a red dress next one it it is given here so what we will write it is my favorite toy from this you can understood my dear children that is is used with the pronoun that refer to one person one animal one place or one thing such as he she it let's see the next one r the use of r r is used with v u and they what i told children i told r is used with v u and they 
let's see my dear children here also you can see r is used with u y o u r is used with u next you can see my dear children r is used with v r is used with they so r r is used with the pronouns what are the pronouns u v they let's see the example my dear children you v they so however for you we used r what we we used children a r e r let's see then another one r is used with the pronoun that refers to more than one person as you can see more than one person is there more than one place as you can see more than one place is there more than one thing as you can see more than one thing is there so r is used with the pronoun that refers to more than one person place thing such as we they v they then let's see some example r is used with the third person plural noun so here you can see one girl is there her name is lisa one boy is there his name is tom so what do we call Lisa and Tom, they, they. So, Lisa and Tom, Lisa and Tom are students. H e y, they. Lisa and Tom, they. So, because of that, we will put a r e r. Lisa and Tom are students. Let's see the next example. The use of R. R. U. At school. R. U. Studying. Here U is written. Y O. U. So what we will write? A R E R. Here also U is written. So what we will write? A R E R. However. for you we used a r e r next one yes we are we are studying children as you can see here we is written w e v so what we will write a r e r v r studying as you can see from the above we had learned the use of is am are so let's have a quick revision my dear children am is used with first person subject i here you can see is the use of is 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 used with the pronoun that refer to one person one animal one place one thing such as he she it my dear children let's look down another another one use of r such as r is used with you 
V they so from this my dear children you can understood this thing that however for you we used R R is also used with the pronoun that refer to more than one person place things such as we they so from this you can understood my dear children that the use of is am are thank you my dear children